Okay, so this is a quick video to show the three ways I've tried running Breath of the Wild and the different advantages and disadvantages that each offer. So first up is just running with Simi Hook and a Shader Pack. No speed hacks at all. And as you can see, it's great. It looks very smooth, but what you'll see when I actually go into combat is that I get some serious slowdown and then it goes up and down and up and down until I'm out of combat and then it goes back to 30. And that is the disadvantage of running without hacks, is uh, instability essentially. So your PC might be able to handle it at 30 FPS in no rain and just standing outside of the starting area. But once you get into combat, that's when it gets bad. Okay, second up is speed hacking manually. Now you're going to see I limit my FPS to 10 FPS and then I set my speed hack to 2.3 times. I actually set it to 2.33 but then I correct it in a moment. Now the upside with this is extreme stability. Uh, you'll generally start out a little bit and as you can see if you watch this in 60 FPS you will be able to see that it looks like I'm playing in you know 20 FPS on a PC game where it wouldn't actually run in slow motion. It's a little choppy, but it's completely full speed. And as you'll see, when I go into combat, there's no slowdown this time. And that's because I'm skipping frames and it's making it easy for the game to run. And I would highly recommend the 10 FPS and 2.3 times uh, mixture of settings. Okay, last up is the speed hack script. Now, this one, you're gonna to wanna to set your FPS back to 30 in whatever frame limit you're using or have half adaptive V-Sync. However, as you can see, this is an extreme case of why it is buggy and it will run too fast one moment as you can see that loading screen was in fast forward uh, so it like didn't do anything and then it skipped right at the end and got and went really fast and as you can see for the first few seconds of this gameplay I'm running an extreme fast motion that's because the script is just a little not well made and I'm guessing it's well made but I just I guess without getting way into it they couldn't make it any better than it is it's a little unstable. So those are the three ways that I would recommend doing it. And honestly, I don't have a favorite unless you have a bad computer, in which case uh, the speed hacking manually is the best way because it will give you stability and no fluctuations as long as your PC can handle at that 10 FPS. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.